Hi! In this video and the next, we will be looking at measures to describe a distribution. Before we begin, let's briefly recapitulate two important concepts that were covered in previous videos – population and sample. In statistics, a population is the entire group we want to draw conclusions about. A sample is a subset of the population and is the specific group which we collect our data from. In a previous video on sampling techniques, we talked about how a population should possess some common characteristics, for example cat owners in Asia or vegetarians in Singapore. We also discussed how gathering data for an entire population, such as the entire population of Asian cat owners, is something that's rarely endeavored because it's usually something that's either too time-consuming or too cost-prohibitive. Imagine having to survey tens of thousands or even millions of cat owners in Asia. To save time and money, we aim to find a representative sample that accurately reflects our population. We then collect data from this sample instead of the whole population. In the aforementioned previous video, we discussed the different types of sampling techniques when it comes to drawing a representative sample, such as random sampling, systematic sampling, or stratified sampling, to name a few. Make sure to check out that video. In our next videos, we will talk about three important measures that we can use to describe a distribution, known collectively as the measures of central tendency.